is so good to be with you, even if it's through this live stream. And I'm so grateful to my brothers, both Father Michaels, to have invited me to be with you this morning. It's a powerful gospel for us to reflect upon in these days, isn't it? Jesus stands before Lazarus's tomb and he says something absolutely remarkable. Take away the stone. Take away the stone. Those who heard him say those words were probably astonished. And, and even Lazarus's sister, Lord, there will be a stench. But they listened to what Jesus said. And they removed the stone. On Good Friday, in just a few days now, we will hear of another stone. That stone covering another tomb. And when we think about these stones on this, on this day, we realize how significant they are in our lives right now. They separate us, ultimately, don't they, these stones? Lazarus' stone separates us from each other. The stone that will cover the Lord's tomb separates us from him. And we know well that separation in these difficult days, don't we? That separation that we miss, especially on Sunday mornings when we make our way to our parish church and we are with the Lord and with each other. This separation, this stone, if you will, causes us great pain, makes us very sad, and we are even weeping because we are not with each other or with him. Jesus is perturbed and moved to tears as he stands before Lazarus' tomb, as he stands before that stone. Is his heart not as moved for us right now? These stones can be moved and will be moved Jesus will say the word, and Lazarus's stone will be taken away, and he will come forth. And the Lord again will say, untie him and let him go. On Easter Sunday, the women will come to the Lord's tomb to anoint his body, their act of love and reverence for the Lord. And they will wonder along their way, who will remove the stone for us, for it is very large. But to their amazement, when they arrive, the stone will be moved. The Lord will move this stone, this present day stone for us as well. And as he waited, to come to Lazarus in his time of need, so we feel that he is waiting now as well, no? But what does he say to his disciples? It is for God's glory. And you and I might not understand what that means right now, but he will reveal it to us. And one way that we might see it revealed is this greater devotion and reverence and desire to be with him now that we have been away from him. There are those who are mourning this loss and desire him all the more. It is true what they say, absence makes 
the heart grow fonder. And this is the grace that will be given to us when the stones are removed, that our hearts desire him to be with him and with each other. And we will believe with every ounce of our strength that one day soon, please God, the stone will be removed and we will be together again in our Father's house to embrace each other with the love that is ours in Christ and we will receive him once more. Please know that each and every time your priests offer the Mass, and we have the privilege of receiving him every day, we do so conscious that you are with us. Every time I receive the Lord at Mass, I offer a heartfelt prayer, Lord, let me share this grace of this Holy Communion with those who desire you at this moment. We miss you as much as you miss us. But we are united in prayer and in the sure and certain hope that one day soon the stone will be removed.